Good evening, everybody. We bring you the latest in the world of sports. I'm Boom Gonzalez. And we give you the conversations you want to hear from your favorite sports icons and athletes. I'm Willie Wilson. In tonight's Game Plan. We'll have a special UAAP Mythical 5 Fantasy Draft live to predict the best of the best in Season 84 Men's Basketball Tournament. Then we'll go inside the game of Eliza Valdez, Jaja Santiago, Abby Barano, and Coach Oji Mamon as they answer what fans can expect from the Philippine Women's National Volleyball Team in the 2022 SEA Games. And members of the Philippine badminton team join us to talk about their journey to the Asia Championships. Buckle up, sports fans. Let's get in the game. As the UAP Season 84 elimination round in the uh, men's basketball tournament starts to wind down, I don't know about winding down, but you know what I mean, right? A couple of names have separated themselves from the pack as the elite stars of the league. So today, my partner, Coach Willie, and his fellow UAP commentator, Mr. Hot Takes himself, Jello Vito, join us for a special Mythical 5 Fantasy Draft live here in the studio. Jello, welcome to the game. Thank welcome back. Thank you, thank you. What up, what up, big Jello? All right, all right. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we have a whole pool, right, of players to pick from, uh, from the UAAP. And you guys get to pick, I think, five, obviously, right. mythical five. Yeah. And then I want to hear why you're going to pick them. And then we will find out at the end who's got the better team. Because it's always about that. You're going to try to one-up this guy. Yes. Yeah. This guy tries to one-up everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And right. before we started, ladies and gentlemen, we already tossed the coin. Just to save time so we can get into the action right away. So that's the pool on your screens that we're going to pick from. The names, such great players from the UAP. And the winner of the coin toss, Coach Willie Wilson. All right, so we'll go with you. Who is the first pick for Coach Willie? So, man, these are all tough names to, yes. to choose from, but yes. I got to go with the big man, Ange Kawame. Ah. Big Ange Kawame. Now, I love winning. I'm pretty sure you love winning. Yeah. He's, a, sure win. Ange, he's, Ange he's, a, he's a winner. <laughs> Enough said. That's my pick, number one pick. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see if there's a, a counter here for Jello Vito. Okay, right. here's your list. Who do you have? I think your first pick. My first pick. I think I have to go with Xavier. Xavier Luzer. Ah, okay, okay. You know, is this a UP thing? I think it is. Uh, not, <laughs> really, no, not really. Not okay, really. But, but why? But I okay. really love how he plays. Uh, right. Currently in UP, he leads in scoring, okay. rebounds, and steals. So right. I really want someone in my team to. To be that guy, to, to, to be an all-around guy, to be like a Swiss knife. Okay, yeah, that's a perfect description for our man, Zave, yeah. Xavier Lucero. Okay, Coach Willie, second player in your draft. All right, so since Jello went with a UP player, okay. let me go with a LaSalle player. Okay. And I'm going with Balti. Baltazar. Ooh. All right, Mr. Got Ange and yeah, Balti. Yeah, okay. the anchor of this De La Salle team. Can rebound, evidenced by what he did last yeah. night. Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Can right? score, yeah. very, very versatile, can defend multiple positions. Mm -hmm. That's my second pick. Okay. All right. Talagang kinukuha yung mga matitinding malalaking tao. May jello. How are we seeing our second pick? Uh, tough one, but... Big, small, what are we going to do? I think here? I'm going with a wing here. Okay. In Dave Ildefonso. Ooh. Yeah. Dave Ildefonso. You got Zave and Dave. That was going to be... <laughs> Zave and Dave, I love it. You took my guy. You can do a yeah. show. You know, <laughs> Dave is the second leading scorer for Ateneo right now. And take note, even though he's one of the top scorers for Ateneo, he's number four in assists mm -hmm. in the league. Mm -hmm. So, someone who can score and someone who can facilitate. That's what I want in my team. You know, the one thing that I'm not going to do is argue with any of your picks for sure today. Okay. Dave and Zave, Ange and Balti. Man, this, this list is thinning down quick. Yeah. Number three, come on. But this is an easy pick for me. Let me go with the rookie, Carl Tamayo. Ooh. Carl, Carl Tamayo. Tamayo. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Shooting, over, shooting over 30% from the three. 
We know that he can play the wing. I'm going big line up here. I got Ange, I got Balti, now I got Carl, very, very versatile players. Mm -hmm. Try to stop na that. Na Try to stop that inside game. Na unahan ka ba? Na unahan ka ba? Jello, ano ba? Lumalaki yung team ni Coach Wendy. Parang yeah. ano? Diba? Oh, ano? Parang he's learning from the lessons from the game last night. Eh. Actually, Parang Wendy. Height is might. Yeah, ano? right, okay, go. okay. Go. Okay. You are going with? I'm going with the heartbreak kid, Jerome oh, Lastimosa. As who, my doesn't point love, who doesn't <laughs> love Jerome Lastimosa? Yeah. Tell us why. Again, Solid. Biglaan, he's the top scorer for the entire UAP right now. And nakita nyo naman yung dagger three pointer. Niya kita kita yeah, we were there. We were there. Who, who, wouldn't, were there? who, who wouldn't want <laughs> Jerome Lastimosa in your team? And it's not the first time, too. Yeah. Diba? He's been doing yeah. it. Even in misses, Shaparin yeah. yung siya yung the man yeah, very, for very Adams solid. University. Okay, we've got one small man. All right, for all right, the first time. All right, all right. Asana Are we on the fourth? Fourth, right? Yeah, this fourth, is my yeah. fourth, fourth pick. Okay. Now let me get somebody that can probably you know up one up him or stop him. Let me go with Richie Rivero. Ooh, okay. All right. He's been out. Right. He's been in on a tear recently. Right, right. right. He's getting more comfortable yeah, being right. the man point guard at heart. So. We're versatile still, continuing that theme. Great defender, a shade under 14 points per game. I'm going with Richie. And, and they have this really nice picture that yeah. I saw yesterday. Ano, at the end of the game, right? Si Richie mm. and Jerome. Yeah. Ang ganda ng sportsmanship na pinakita yeah. after that major battle. And speaking of battle, who are you going to battle with on your fourth? I pick? want someone to battle with Ange Kwame. So Ooh. I'm going with Michael Phillips. Oh, oh man! Solid. How many rebounds did he get yesterday? He got 26 and 16 oh. offensive rebounds. Out of 26, so he's he has a solid game. I, I love his energy, and I think he can match everyone's energy out of Coach Willis' team. All right. Hey. Uh, anyone. Anyone. You're anyone. putting it out there. I, I, sino pa yan? Yeah. I won't right. argue that, but if he does, I'm going to get player. Ko. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, all right. fifth and last one. You better my, make this good, Coach. My last pick. Since you're talking about big shot ability, Ooh, let okay. me go with RJ Abariento. Oh, yeah. oh, 30, right, 33 right, right. points this there year. You go, you got you the go. season high. Can score from the three, mid-range, gets to the free throw line, which is very, very underrated. Yeah. I'm going with RJ. All okay. Right. Last one for you. Make it good, man. Make it good. My last pick is Ooh. probably a sleeper pick. Because? Because yeah. I'm going with Sherwin Concepcion oh, of the USD Growling Tigers. You're going with the shooter. Yes. You're going with a hot hand. He leads the scoring for USD. I mean, nobody expected him to, to, to elevate his game this season. And he kind of reminds me of someone who likes to shoot three-pointers from the outside, a stretch big. <laughs> not, not, me, <laughs> not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Just saying. <laughs> Is, 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 he a, is he a big? I don't know. Oh, that's, he's, that he's, is... he's a tweener. I would consider him a tweener. Okay, so we've got your choices, Coach Willie, mm -hmm. the five. We've got your yeah. choices. We're, we're going to try to put it up on the screen so mm -hmm. that we can see what are those choices. For Coach uh, Willie, I want you to defend your team. Why is your team the mythical selection? Um, there, there it is. Right in the middle is Ange Kwame. How, how are you going to t talk about the composition in general? Okay, so obviously we went, we went big. Carl Tamayo has proven that he can play the wing as evidenced that during his Gila stint. Justin Balthazar has shown that he can shoot the three. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ange dominates the paint. Okay. Okay, so if you're looking at my lineup, I have two guards that are pretty much, you know, one, two combo guards. But then whoever guards either Justin or Balti, Ange, or Carl, Tama Carl Tamayo, most likely it would be um, Sherwin. Yeah, I see <laughs> We're Jello. putting him in the post. I see Jello uh, shaking his head. How is your five going to counter the mythical five, yeah. fantasy mythical five of uh, Coach Rudy? So I have, I have two guys who really like to facilitate, and David Defonso and Jerome Lastimosa. Mm -hmm. I have guys who will love to pass. And mm -hmm. I have Xavier Lucero who can switch, I think, everybody because he can play any position. Okay. And I have, uh, obviously, Michael Phillips to get those rebounds, to, to bring energy, mm -hmm. and obviously, okay. sharing Concepcion for those. Are you winning this matchup? I guess so. Are you winning this matchup? I think so. I'm yeah. confident with my five. I think I don't I'm know. Alam mo, alam mo, dapat dito meron tayong ano eh, UAP All-Stars. Right, right, right. right. Make, make it happen. happen. Make it happen. Para magkasubukan. All right. Thank you very much uh, for your picks. Thank, Thank you. you, Coach, for your picks. Thank for sticking you. around with me first. But in the meantime, after the break. Be a 
Mr. Vasco returns for the last installment of our exclusive catch-up with Eliza Valdez, Jadio Santiago, Abby Barano, and Coach Oji Mamon from Brazil. So stay tuned. You're watching The Game. different is this 2022 national team and how special is this team na kasama ka ngayon? Ngayon, ano, parang mas ano sa akin, mas nakita ko na grabe yung intensity ng, na binibigay ng bawat isa. Walang tapon. Kasi sa ensayo, walang politics eh. Lahat pag pumalo, open, um, open UT, middle, Ano talaga, bartagulan talagang... <laughs> ang lalakas. Tapos, ang maganda nga sa ensayo namin, lalo na pag scrimmage, hindi ka agad namamatay yung bola. Ang ano ang, ang taas ng... Uh, ano, ang tagal ng rally. So, makikita mo yung quality ng both teams. Um, whether first six ka or second stringer. Wala, hindi mo ma... Actually, hindi mo ma... Ano eh, ma-differentiate eh. Mas yun ba yung... Uh -oh. Wala ng dis distinction. Dahil parehas, ano, uh, mahusay. Um, special kasi siyempre, uh, ang tanda na namin dito ni Eliza. Magdanamay ako. Ah, kasi <laughs> sabay ko to eh. Dahil hindi naman nagsabay tayo. Sabay na namin. Ang dami na natin pinagkaanan na, ano, na, na, ng experiences sa uh, NT. Mas lalong nagiging special siya hapon tumatagal yung panahon na tumatanda kami dito sa laro. So, like, uh, could you take us through your day? Sige. What's like in a day of an athlete in the national team right now in Brazil? So much different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's, it's, it's really the same. Uh, we're back in the Philippines or probably in Japan also. We're, we do bubble training. So, in the morning, we, we practice, we eat breakfast together, yeah. and then and at 9 or 10 a.m., we do our skills training or conditioning training. And then after that, we will have our lunch and then recovery, sleep, take a nap or do something na kailangan namin sa recovery namin for the, our training in the afternoon. So after naman the afternoon training, we'll have also mga quick mga instructions with our coaches, mga 
uh, reminders also kung ano yung mga natutunan namin kailangan pa namin improve the following day. And then, we'll sleep. Have dinner and then sleep. Dinner so, lunch. it's the same actually. Dreams But I think one thing that it, it's so much different from us, si Jaja siguro sanay, the weather talaga here in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. <laughs> Minsan na nalala ka kami after practice or during practice. In the middle of practice, lalo na at late time. Hindi guys na yung problem. Hindi na namin nararamdaman yung mga... Who turned on the first one? Yes. Pero bintana lang yung nakapukas. Medyo malamig. So, I think... Uh, at the end of the day, it, it, it's an advantage for us because, di ba, uh, maglalaro and din naman natin medyo malamig. Okay. But uh, we're just really oh, thankful yeah. also na ganon may time to rest talaga and recover from from all the the trainings that we're and sessions we're having. Um, range from one to ten, how prepared is the team? Ten being the highest. <laughs> uh, Hindi pa kompleto. Mahirap magkompleto pero. Given the limited time and what we're doing right now, we're in a high eights. Wow! So you're the performance. Kapag naman din kasi yung training, yeah. boom, boom, boom. And uh, we have to be efficient. That's why we form two groups. Yeah. Tapos limited targeting. Which so, is very effective. Because we see that after the practice. Yeah, that's why the goals for the training check at the end of the session check, check, check. Tapos may mga notes pa. So we meet the target. Okay. Yeah, mas taas. Eight. So, mga high eight. So ano na lang yung siguro one point something na kulang sa tingin mo coach ng team. Ah, uh, it's the jelly like the game team work. Yung bang ano yung instinctive na may pumalakbak don alam nila yun. Yung pa yung ano we're working on that. Yung parang nakakaamuyan ka ng konte na. Yung at this point, siguro kailangan lang yung isang tingin lang ni Jaja, alam niya ni Lai kung anong ibig sabihin mo. Ganun. Okay, yung palakpak lang. Yes. Diba? Yeah, really yung, yun na lang, yun na lang. Yung parang sa sampung pumalakpak, alam nila kung sino yung kichang. Ganun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mismo. Okay. Uh, it's a new team, a new roster with a new federation. What can the fans expect from this team? Of course, they expect that they will give the effort that they give to the other players in the other level. And the heart of the Philippine people, no matter what happens. Of course, we have a lot of sacrifices here. We have a lot of sacrifices here. We have a lot of sacrifices here. So, we will show all of this in the world. We will show it so that we will show it so that we will give the country our country. Do you have any message to your uh, supporters, Jaja? To all the supporters of Philippine women's volleyball team, national team. <laughs> uh, una muna sa lahat, syempre, maraming salamat kasi nandiyan kayo palagi to support us. Kahit nasaan lupalot man kami ng bansa, gano'n. Yeah. 35 hours <laughs> from Philippines to Brazil, di ba? Um, and sa sana sa darating na si Games, um, <laughs> Ma support lahan yung kami, and we will do our very best to inspire you guys and bigyan kayo na magandang laro at magandang resulta. Yan, marami marami salamat sa patuloy na pagmamahal at pagbibigay na support na and we really hope na appreciate nyo hindi lang kami mga atleta mga women's volleyball but all the athletes na magrepresent ng ating bansa and let's all spread good vibes, let's all spread positivity. And uh, let's all cheer and unite the strongest supporters. So I know we're going to forget that we're going to be successful in our run in the Southeast Asian Games. Ah, Southeast, right? Southeast. Um, of course, the people who are the best in the world, 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 the best in the Alright, Coach Oji, i-hype mo ang ating mga Filipino supporters para sa Southeast Asian Games. <laughs> What we have, uh, as earlier we mentioned, creme de la creme ng volleyball sa Philippines. And for one na stricto sa insayo, nababanday sa kanila, they really give their all. So, the respect that we should accord them nandun and yung paghanga natin sa kanila. Na tutumbasan naman nila ng effort, 
and very hopeful talaga for the coming seasons. So yung prayers niyo and support niyo for all the athletes. Laban Philippines. Yes. yes. And when we return, we'll talk to the members of the Philippine badminton team about their journey to the Asia Championships, so keep it here. You're watching The Game. Welcome back, you're still watching The Game. To our beloved badminton fans, don't miss out because the best in Asia are coming to the Philippines. The Badminton Asia Championships for 2022 happens from, May, uh, from April 26 rather, to May 1 at the Muntinlupa Sports Complex. Tickets will be available via Ticketnet. Now, as we anticipate this prestigious event tonight, we are joined by the members of our Philippine badminton team. We have Coach Rosman Razak and, of course, our players Mika de Guzman and Ross Pedrosa. Magandang gabi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to uh, the game. Coach, welcome to the Philippines Thank and you. welcome to Thank the you. Philippine team. I got to start with you. How yes. did that happen? I know there were other countries that mm -hmm. were in play in terms of hiring your services. Mm -hmm. Why did you pick the Philippines and how did it all happen? Yeah, I think uh, it's an exciting job for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a challenge also for me because uh, as I said, um, um, Philippines is uh, up and coming for badminton. So it's an opportunity for me to do something here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. uh, let's move over to our star athletes, Mika and Ross. So glad to have you guys on. <laughs> we you. know this event is very, very prestigious and it's just right around the corner. What does it feel like to, you know, to be a part of uh, this event? Let's start with you, Mika. Well, for me, it's an honor, and of course, um, I'm proud of myself to be part of this uh, event because I'm proud to represent my country and, you know, make the Filipinos proud. Oh, that's great. Let's move over to you, Ross. Uh, excited po, and yun nga, eh, feeling ko uh, honored din talaga ako kasi malaking tournament to especially naging super 1000 tong tournament na to mm -hmm. which is napakalaking tournament sa international mm -hmm. and at the same time makakalaban rin namin yung mga top players ng Asia which is very good experience po para sa amin po, uh, sa Pilipinas uh, speaking of the competition coach yeah. what are our expectations what is the goal for this uh, tournament and 
may I ask also who are we looking out for in terms of the powerhouses? Yeah, I think uh, like um, Rose, uh, all the top 10 players in the world are here uh, mm -hmm. this, in this tournament. So uh, it's a good opportunity for us, especially because uh, most of our player is uh, we don't have any ranking, uh, so this is the first tournament for us to meet, uh, to play in the international tournament. Right. And somehow we play against the top uh, player in the world, so we can learn many things in, in this tournament. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of mm. this, you know, the top competition, mm -hmm. um, back, to, back to Mika and Ross. Um, let's start with you, Mika. Did you do anything different, you know, considering the pandemic, the conditions that we're in. Mm. Did you change anything up for your training, considering you're going to be playing top competition? There's a lot riding on this tournament. Well, of course, coming from the pandemic, I wasn't really able to train that much. But now, I think I was able to train more than I was. I trained in the pandemic. And I think I'm prepared mentally and physically. Uh, Ross, we know you, that mm. you're you know, mm. a star player, veteran from, from the UAAP, moving on up. How has your training changed from then till now? Mm, ngayon it's more on ano po eh, mentally na yung tinitraining ko and yung physical nandiyan naman po eh, and techniques mas nadadagdagan po at the same time yung training po ngayon naging different po kasi nakababol na talaga kami at like mm. not like before na pwede pa kami makauwi at mm. least at ngayon talagang bubble na po kami. Mm. So, focus na po talaga, mas focus na po talaga kami sa Training, pahinga, training, pahinga. Coach, can you talk about Mika and Ross quickly? <laughs> what, what are you, <clears throat> what did you notice about them? What do you like about them in terms of their, you know, their their skills, their competitiveness, their focus, and their training? What have you seen from uh, your yeah. Yeah, your uh, kids um, now? Of course, uh, they are top uh, player in in Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, they are very hardworking. Of course, uh, there are still uh, many ways to 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 be improved, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, for start, I think uh, it's a good uh, for them, you know, uh, to have a good training method and, and uh, have a good tournament. <coughs> so this is a good start for them, I think. Yeah. Right. And I want to ask if I may, Coach Willie, what can you say about, you know, being <laughs> under coach now? Uh, we were all laughing about this earlier, <laughs> but, but just give us a few words para kay uh, Coach. Uh, say Coach, ngayon, malaking tulong po yung na gagawa niya po sa amin, lalo na sa akin po. Mm. Uh, mas na, ano, napapansin niya yung mga detailed na mali ko. At the same time, mas nag-i-improve ako sa mga nasasabi niya. Mika, real quick? Uh, I think just like what Kuya Ross said, uh, he really helped us improve more and um, motivated us every day to keep our focus right. and do more every day. All right, good luck. Again, the competition's April 26th to May 1 at the Muntinlupa Sports Complex. Good luck and thank you for coming thank by. You. Thank I know, you. Hey, I know thank you guys you. are going to do great. All right. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us. I'm Willie Wilson. And don't forget to catch us weeknights only here on One News, One Sports, and One Sports Plus. Thanks again to our guests. My name is Boom Gonzalez, and this has been The Game.